Most dairy producers utilize a team of experts to help them manage and run their farm. One of those experts is a dairy cow nutritionist, and that's what I do. So here we are standing out in the feed center, and this is where the food for the cows is made to make sure that they have a healthy meal in front of them all day. So behind me are the different ingredients that come from the fields around the farm. And then out the back behind that wall are different tanks that are ingredients that get brought into the farm from different suppliers here. And what happens is that big loader will take scoops of these feeds, put them into the mixer, and that'll get mixed up so it's all one big diet, and that'll get taken out and put in front of the cows so that they have their healthy, nutritious meal. Here we have the finished product that is put in front of the cows after we saw all the raw ingredients out in the mixing center. You can now see the end product here. This is what actually gets put in front of the cows and our goal with these diets is that every single bite is full of nutrition and is the same no matter what cow along this whole barn takes a bite out of it. But there are different amounts and different goodies put into each package depending on the type of cow we're trying to feed. So the calves that we saw earlier are going to have a different diet than these girls that are milking right now. Each one is going to be designed to help keep that cow as healthy and happy as possible, whether that means she's growing or producing milk. So these are some two very good examples of byproduct feeds. My left hand, this is what we call oat pellets. This is a byproduct of harvesting and planting oats for seed and for grain. Typically, that would have been a throwaway product, but because of the cow's groom and they're able to digest that. This product is a bakery waste product. What this consists of is pre-consumer and post-consumer bakery waste. Uh, oftentimes you'll have donuts, dough, bread, uh, bagels, this stuff, is a very good energy source for the cows and also is a way for us to upcycle nutrients that would have been thrown away without the cow and the rumen. Cows are not picky eaters. And so we end up feeding cows a lot of waste products that otherwise would go to the garbage. But for the cows, they're able to take that garbage feed and upcycle it to milk, meat, and manure, which are all fantastic products. So here we have the French fries. If McDonald's doesn't quite want the french fries because they're ugly, cows take it. These are the carrots. If the carrots don't get cut up right, the freezer section of your grocery store doesn't want them, cows take them. These are onions. If you're sitting out back having a blooming onion, if it was a little bit ugly, the cows will take it and eat it. The cows are professional recyclers. They take all these products, they put it through their four stomachs, and they're able to turn these products that otherwise would be waste into milk, meat, and manure.